Hi, welcome to day 19. If you've made it this far, congratulations. We only have two days left. <laughs> oh, but let's look back. What I wanna do is with only two days to go, I wanna encourage us to look back over the last 18 days as today's 19 and see if you have been successful in pushing away the things that have been distracting and keeping you from getting alone time with the Lord. Um, can you look back on the last 18 days and say that the things that you had hoped would happen during this fast has actually happened? If you can say yes, then awesome, way to go, great job. But I want you to continue to press in to see what else the Lord might have for you. If you say no, that's okay, because tomorrow's or today's a new day. And Lamentations 3, 22 through 23 says, the faithful love of the Lord never ends. Great is his faithfulness. His mercies begin afresh each morning. So what that means is that we get to start the day new. So no matter what you did or didn't do, in the last 18 days, you have a new day to start with. So if you're having difficulty focusing, I have a couple of points for you. So the first thing you want to determine, um, actually find the distractions or limit, look at the distractions to see what might be keeping you from putting God first. Pri um, determine which ones can be eliminated or which ones could be postponed so that you can actually put him first then take about five minutes each day in order to read a proverb or read a scripture so you can start to develop the relationship and the pattern that's going to take you through 2021. When I, when I hear the words, get your ship together, and that's ship with a P, that um, when I asked the Lord and I prayed about it, I felt like he wanted me to, what he told me was he's not the father that stands over you with his finger pointing at you saying, get your ship together. That's not him. He's the father that's down on his knees with his arms wide open, wanting you to come to him and welcoming you there. And so if that's not what you're used to, I want you to get used to a new normal because it's not for his benefit that you're coming to him. It's for yours. He has so many things that he wants to give you. He has gifts, he has rewards, he has love that you've probably never experienced, but he wants you to experience it now. And so don't let the next two days or three days go past without having one time experience with him. So I'm praying that this time as you get your ship together, you will be able to get your focus and you'll be able to start a pattern that will carry you through 2021. God bless. Have a great day.